For today's Monday makeup lesson, I want to show you how to create this look using one matte eyeshadow and one metallic eyeshadow. It's super easy, so let's get started. As always, we're going to start off with eyeshadow primer. If you don't have eyeshadow primer, you can use your concealer as well. Either way, these will work as a base to give our shadows something to hold on to while also creating a blank canvas for us to work on. The first shadow that we're taking is the matte shade. You want this to be a few shades darker than your skin tone, but it can be any tone that you prefer. I've just gone for a warm brown. And you're also then going to take your blending brush. And I only want you to pick up a very small amount on the blending brush. And we're going to be concentrating it in this area. So the outer third and then deep into the crease. But really we're going to be applying it everywhere. We just want the majority of the color to be in this area. So every time you pick up shadow, make sure to start on the outer edge and work your way up and over. You want to keep this nice and soft and blended, working over and back. So by the time it reaches the brows, it should basically fade into nothing. Don't build up too much product just yet. And remember to leave that gap just under the brows for some definition. Now we're going to take a little bit more of that eyeshadow again, but this time we're going to apply it in a different way. We really want to concentrate on this area, so what I want you to do is basically stamp it down on the outer edge and then blend it. And I want you to keep your hand a little higher as you blend as well. We're applying a little bit more pressure on the brush and this will just really pack that eyeshadow on. Once you have it in that area, you can then do soft sweeping motions just to blend out any harsh lines. And you should end up with something like this. Covering the lid, but concentrating it onto the outer edge and into the crease. Now for our shimmer or metallic eyeshadow, I've chosen something that works quite well with the first shade. And I'm going to apply that with a flat brush. It's really important that you're applying metallics or shimmers with flat brushes because it makes sure that the shadow is really gliding on. If you apply it with a blending brush, you'll find that it disperses and looks a little patchy. So with metallic shades and shimmers, you want to use a flat brush to create that gliding effect across the lid. So we're basically concentrating this on the inner corner and then across the lid. Then what I want to do is take a smaller brush and spritz it with a little bit of water. It doesn't have to be soaking, just a little bit damp. And I'm picking up some of that metallic eyeshadow and applying it with a damp brush. And what this will do is will intensify it and really catch the light. So it ends up looking like a slightly different shade, almost as if we've applied a metallic and then a slightly lighter metallic over the top. But I'm only concentrating this on the center of the lid and the inner corner. Because that's the areas that I want to catch the light the most. And you should end up with something like this. Now you can also use the same technique of using a damp brush with the matte eyeshadow as well. And you'll end up with almost like a liner effect. So I'm just pushing this right by the lashes. So even though we've only applied two eyeshadows, we applied them in different ways to get different finishes. And I'm also using that same damp brush to apply the matte shade underneath the eyes as well. My favorite way to blend anything underneath the eyes is to take my blending brush and squash it down almost like a fan and then I can sweep this underneath my eyes to blend out any harsh lines. All you want to do is just to push your finger on top of the blending brush and create a little bit of a fan shape and then just sweep it underneath the eyes. Finish off with mascara, lashes, and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any more suggestions or requests, definitely let me know. If you're new here, hit subscribe. If you like the video, hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Feel free to click the screen to watch some of my other videos.